again is there's a, a question posed by one of the viewers about um, whether an MPPP, <laughs> MPPT charge controller could still charge, uh, put out some current if the charge dropped below or the output from a solar panel dropped below 12 volts. Now theoretically if, you, if you've still got enough current and your voltage dropped below that, we won't use particularly the figure of 12 volts, but if your um, input voltage was below that of where the battery was, can the MPP, MPPT charge controller compromise by using the current and jacking up the voltage and still charge a battery? I thought it was quite an interesting question. And um, what it also got, <laughs> it uh, kind of inspired me to do was to hook up a um, power supply to the input of the charge controller so that obviously I've got more control over um, the input from a instead of a solar panel um, I can control things by hooking up um, this power supply I can control the voltage and I can control the current so I've got the power supply to do that I've got my Fluke 43B acting as an oscilloscope it's monitoring both uh, current and voltage so it's just it's nice to get a graphic representation because when the MPPT um, algorithm does its thing you can actually see what's going on here and, and get a little idea I've got two multimeters the fluke is actually monitoring the input voltage um, the Sprayman is measuring the input current uh, that in theory is coming in from the uh, power supply which will be altered by the MPPT algorithm and then the WhatsApp meter is actually tracking what's going into the battery what's being the uh, yeah how the battery has been charged and what's going into the battery okay so I thought what I'd do is we'll start off by at the moment as you can see there is is no charge nothing going into the battery the battery is sitting at about 2.35 volts what I've actually got I've got a load on the battery to ensure that um, because the battery uh, gets up to 14 14.5 then the charge controller is going to think it's charged and, and we won't be able to play so I've got a load on there to stop prevent that from happening okay so what I'm going to do first off is we're going to take I'm going to turn the voltage up I'm going to give it I'm going to open up the current limiting to give it full amps which is approximately three amps out of this or two and a half amps out of this power supply I'm going to step up the voltage you can see there the voltage curve going up on the scope and you can see I'm turning up the voltage and we'll soon hit a point when the charge controller says right bang I, get this. I don't know if you it makes a little ping sound it opens up and it says right I can start charging on the scope you can actually see that was the voltage that was climbing up and then all of a sudden it opened the gates and the current jumped up. The current has jumped up to what 2.6 amps. On the output we can see we've got the 12.7 which is obviously the level it, it says I can charge the battery at. And we've got about the same the current so at the moment um, the, MPP, the MPPT charge controller is kind of almost acting as a as a reg voltage regulator. It's not doing much to the the current. Um, it's just dropping the voltage a bit to the right level to charge a battery, and things are staying the same here. So now what I'm going to do is the I say the taps are full open um, on the current. Now I'm going to push the the voltage up. Let's pretend the sun's getting brighter, and as you can see, you can actually hear the ping ping. I don't know if you can see on the on the scope that it did a little move it saw a change so it said it had a look it's the voltage now is higher and you can see it's converting that that higher voltage into a little more current because we're reading at 2.56 on the input side and 2.75 going into the battery okay right so now I'm going to push the voltage up again I'm going to turn it right up and what will happen is you'll hear it ping, so I'm not touching anything at the moment. Eventually the um, the MPPT charge controller will register and actually do a change.
Okay, there we go, there's a little ping ping. Don't know if you heard it. And uh, you can see the little change, it kind of it dips out. It obviously uses the algorithm to do a quick search. And what it's done now, it's jacked up the voltage. You can see that. Current sitting at 2.4. Obviously, it's only supplying what's required to the battery, but you can see the current is jacked up to 3.3 amp. So we're getting 3.3 amp from 2.4. So that's where the DC to DC conversion is really doing its stuff. And um, it's uh, using the additional voltage and, and converting it basically to the current. So you've got extra current to charge a battery. So that's just a little interesting thing just to show, again show the whole functionality of uh, MPPT. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave, I'm not going to restrict the current in any way. What happens is out of interest if I do start dropping the current, you'll see I start dropping the, the current here. On the scope you can see it dropping as well. And then I've been playing with this and the MPPT function there doesn't seem to change. It says because basically I'm still giving it I've got voltage. Under normal circumstances this wouldn't happen on a, on a solar panel because as the sun's dropping and your current's dropping so will the voltage. And here I'm in essence with the power supply I'm falsely holding a, a high high uh, voltage. But you can see all it does now is it's just dropping the, the current and it keeps the, the voltage as high as it can. But anyway, I'm going to take the current back up and now we're going to try and demonstrate and answer the question that was asked previously with what happens if um, the voltage drops below a certain point, uh, below the charge of the battery, will the MPP, MPPT function still charge a battery? So we see we're at 13, about 13.1. And now I'm going to start dropping the voltage. Now, as I say, it's got more than enough current. So I drop, drop the voltage. Interesting thing there is, you can see the current's actually dropped. I'm pretty sure the MPPT function will um, step in soon and rectify that. Okay, so here we are. I'm now busy. Um, we're at a, a voltage level that it's holding uh, just enough voltage to charge a battery. And I'm now going to drop the voltage. And as soon as I drop it beyond a certain point, which is below what the battery is at, as you can see, I've got it around 12.6. The battery is at 12.5. It doesn't have enough voltage or pressure to push through it stops the charging now th in theory um, I've got I say I'm not limiting the current so it could easily